Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for, JavaScript. So, let's get started. Question number 1. What are the various data types present in the JavaScript programming language? The answer is, the data types in the JavaScript programming language are, number, string, boolean, object, and undefined. Question number 2. What are undeclared and undefined variables in the JavaScript programming language? The answer is, undeclared variables are those that do not exist in a program and are not declared. If the program tries to read the value of an undeclared variable, then a runtime error is encountered. Whereas, undefined variables are those that are declared in the program but have not been given any value. If the program tries to read the value of an undefined variable, an undefined value is returned. Question number 3. What are global variables in the JavaScript programming language? The answer is. Global variables are available throughout the length of the code so that it has no scope. If the var keyword is omitted in declaring a variable, a global variable is declared. Question number 4. What does the prompt box refers to in JavaScript? The answer is. A prompt box is a box that allows the user to enter input by providing a text box. A label in box will be provided to enter the text or number. Question number 5. What is the function of timers in JavaScript? The answer is. In JavaScript, a timer is created to execute a task or any function at a particular time. The timer is used to delay the execution of the program or to execute the JavaScript code at a regular time interval. With the help of a timer, we can delay the execution of the code. Question number 6. What do you mean by session state? The answer is, session state is specific to user-specific data that can be accessed across all web application pages. Question number 7. What is variable typing in JavaScript language? The answer is, variable typing is used to assign a number to a variable. The same variable can be assigned to a string. Question number 8. What do you mean by null in JavaScript language? The answer is, the null value is used to represent no value or no object. It implies no object or null string, no valid boolean value, no number, and no array object. Question number 9. What is the usage of the delete operator in the JavaScript programming language? The answer is. The delete operator is the reverse process of a new operator. It deallocates all the memory allocated for an object. The object can be of any type. The delete operator destroys an object so that the resources can be used for other purposes. Question number 10. How many pop-up boxes are there in JavaScript language? The answer is, there are three types of pop-up boxes in JavaScript. Alert box, confirm box, and prompt box. Question number 11. Where does void, 0, is used in JavaScript language? The answer is, void 0 is used to prevent the page from refreshing, and parameter 0 is passed while calling. Void 0 is used to call another method without refreshing the page. Question number 12. What is the difference between an alert box and a confirmation box? The answer is, an alert box displays only one button, which is the OK button. But a confirmation box displays two buttons, namely OK and Cancel. Question number 13. What are escape characters in JavaScript language? The answer is, escape characters, backslash, is used when working with special characters, like, single quotes, double quotes, apostrophes, and ampersands. Place backslash before the characters to make a display. Question number 14. What do you mean by JavaScript cookies? The answer is. Cookies are the small test files stored in a computer, and they get created when the user visits the websites to store information that they need. Examples could be, usernames, details and shopping cart information from previous visits. Question number 15. What is the usage of the pop method in JavaScript language? The answer is. The pop method is similar to the shift method, but the difference is that the shift method works at the array's start. The pop method takes the last element off of the given array and returns it. The array on which it is called is then altered. Question number 16. What is the difference between the break and continue statement in JavaScript language? The answer is, break statement exits from the current loop. Whereas, Continue statement continues with the next statement of the loop. Question number 17. What are the different types of errors in JavaScript? The answer is. There are three types of errors. First, 
Load time errors. Errors that come up when loading a web page, like improper syntax errors, are known as load time errors and generate the errors dynamically. Second, runtime errors. Errors that come due to misuse of the command inside the HTML language. Third, logical errors. These are the errors that occur due to the bad logic performed on a function with a different operation. Question number 18. What is the use of the push method in JavaScript? The answer is. The push method is used to add or append one or more elements to an array and. Using this method, we can append multiple elements by passing multiple arguments. Question number 19. What is the unshift method in JavaScript? The answer is. Unshift method is like the push method, which works at the beginning of the array. This method is used to perpend one or more elements to the beginning of the array. Question number 20. What is the strict mode in JavaScript and how can you enable it? The answer is. Strict mode adds certain compulsions to JavaScript. Under the strict mode, JavaScript shows errors for a piece of code, which did not show an error before, but might be problematic and potentially unsafe. Strict mode also solves some mistakes that hamper the JavaScript engines from working efficiently. Strict mode can be enabled by adding the string literal used strict above the file. Question number 21. What is a window onload and on document ready? The answer is. The onload function is not run until all the information on the page is loaded. This leads to a substantial delay before any code is executed. And. On document ready loads the code just after the DOM is loaded. This allows early manipulation of the code. Question number 22. What are the important properties of an anonymous function in JavaScript? The answer is. A function that is declared without any named identifier is known as an anonymous function. In general, an anonymous function is inaccessible after its declaration. Question number 23. What is the difference between the call and apply method? The answer is. The function call and apply are very similar in their usage except a little difference. The call method is used when the number of the function's arguments are known to the programmer, as they have to be mentioned as arguments in the call statement. On the other hand, the apply method is used when the number is not known. The function apply expects the argument to be an array. The basic difference between the call and apply method is in the way arguments are passed to the function. Question number 24. What is event bubbling? The answer is. JavaScript allows DOM elements to be nested inside each other. In such a case, if the handler of the child is clicked, the handler of the parent will also work as if it were clicked too. Question number 25. What is the role of deferred scripts in JavaScript? The answer is. The HTML code's parsing during page loading is paused by default until the script has not stopped executing. If the server is slow or the script is particularly heavy, then the web page is delayed. While using deferred, scripts delays execution of the script till the time the HTML parser is running. This reduces the loading time of web pages, and they get displayed faster. Question number 26. What is the object assign method? The answer is. The object assign method only copies enumerable and own properties from a source object to a target object. It uses, get, on the source and, set, on the target, so it will invoke getters and setters. Therefore it assigns properties, versus copying or defining new properties. Question number 27. What are the types of operators in JavaScript? The answer is. JavaScript includes operators that perform some operation on single or multiple operands, data value, and produce a result. It includes various categories of operators. Arithmetic operators. Comparison operators. Logical operators. Assignment operators. And. Conditional operators. Question number 28. Which function is used to convert the string of any base to an integer in JavaScript language? The answer is. In JavaScript parseInt function is used to convert the string to an integer. This function returns an integer of the base which is specified in the second argument of the parseInt function. Question number 29. What is the isNan method? The answer is. The isNan method determines whether a value is nan, not a number. This method returns true if the value is of the type number, and equates to nan. Otherwise, it returns false. The isNan method does not convert the values to a number and will not return true for any value that is not of the type number. Question number 30. What is negative infinity? The answer is, negative infinity is a number in JavaScript, which is derived by dividing negative number by zero. 
A number object needs not be created to access this static property. The value of negative infinity is the same as the negative value of the infinity property of the global object. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.